If you have an Amazon gift card burning a hole in your pocket and you're looking for art supplies for card makers on Amazon, this video is for you. Hi everybody, I'm Rebecca Keppel and in today's video I'm going to share my top 10 art supplies for card makers that you can find on Amazon. I've used all of these supplies in previous videos and I'll be sure to link to all of them in the YouTube description box below this video. Stick around to the end because I'm going to share my number one favorite art supply for card makers that is available on Amazon. So let's jump right in and take a look at all these fun supplies. Just a heads up before we get started, I've had a pretty bad cold and my voice sounds a little weird in this video. Other than the number one favorite, the rest of these supplies are in no particular order. We're gonna start with the Karen Brush Marker Pro set of 26 markers. These are brush watercolor markers. I love the bright, vibrant colors in the set and it includes a colorless blender pen too. I also really like the sturdy magnetic closed box that these come in and that is exactly how I store them. I'm not an expert watercolorist, so I really appreciate how easy these markers are to use. Working on watercolor paper from Tim Holtz, you can simply brush color directly from the marker to the paper, and then use a wet brush to move the color around. In this way, you can achieve the brightest, most vibrant color of the direct to paper, all the way to a light watercolor effect, depending on how much water is on your brush. And of course, they blend together very easily too. In my video featuring the Karen Brush Marker Pros, I shared swatching out all of the colors. I also covered how you can use them to color in stamped images and create shaded effects using a small brush and small amounts of water to move the color from light to dark. As I mentioned, I'll link to this and all the videos in the YouTube description box below here if you want more information on these art supplies. Next up are the Distress Oxide Ink and domed foam blenders. Since I love using my Distress Oxides for ink blending, I have a blending tool for each Distress Oxide color, and I'll share below a short video where I show how to organize the tools and foam blenders, although having one for each is not necessary. I find that the oxides with the foam blenders make it very easy to create a nice smooth blend on cardstock. If you ever struggle with ink blending, getting a smooth blend or creating backgrounds without harsh lines, I highly recommend this combination of ink and blender. Even with my normally heavy hand, I've been able to create light smooth blends. But Distress Oxides are great for lots of techniques beyond ink blending. I have a video showcasing 10 techniques with Distress Oxides, including stamping. Yes, you can definitely stamp with Oxide inks. In the video, I also share how the Oxides differ from regular Distress inks and show techniques like ink smushing with both types of ink, as well as painting with both types of ink on craft cardstock. Next on my list is the Spellbinders Wax Seal Starter Kit. If you've never tried making wax seals, I cannot recommend this set enough. The starter set comes with everything you need to get going, making your very own seals, including a silicone mat, wax beads, tray, spoon, and seal. All you need to add is a tea light candle. And making the seals is so easy. Simply let the beads melt in the spoon, then pour them out on the mat and place the seal on top and let it set. I found this whole process to be very calming and fun. I love creating mixes of beads to create marble looks. I quickly decided to purchase more seals and beads, but all you need at first is this starter set. You can use some type of paint pen or marker to make the design stand out, and I share several ways to use the seals on cards and envelopes in the original video linked below. Speaking of paint markers, next on the list are the acrylic marker sets from Artix. They have four different sets currently, including a 32 set of dual tipped acrylic markers. These include a small brush tip and a fine point tip, making them great for lots of crafts, including lettering and coloring on a variety of surfaces. They have another dual tipped 24 set with the same combination of tips. I've also shared videos featuring the brush tip acrylic markers that come in brights or set B and pastels or set A. 
I have videos for each of these showing how card makers can use them on dark or black colored cardstock because the paint sits above the cardstock and how they can be used to color acetate too for shaker cards or that they can be used to color vellum like this dry embossed vellum for a unique look. Next up are Simon Hurley Lunar Pastes. I love these unique pastes because they come in a gorgeous rainbow of colors, including the latest silver and gold, and they're smooth as butter and can be used in a ton of techniques. Maybe you've seen Simon Hurley share that you can swipe the paste on with your finger over a dried embossed piece of cardstock. The paste really brings out the design of the embossed cardstock and adds a ton of color and shine too. I've shared a whole bunch of lunar paste videos over the past year or so highlighting a bunch of easy techniques for using the paste including using a foam blender and a stencil with it and even applying it to a stamp. I'll share a whole bunch of lunar paste link videos below. Next up is the Arteza 120 set of watercolor pencils, watercolor paper, and brushes. I love this set of watercolor pencils because it comes in a nice sturdy tin with trays of pencils and that there are so many gorgeous colors in this set. I also like how easy these are to use. You can simply color on some watercolor cardstock and then swipe over the color with a wet brush to create watercolor effects and even blend the pencil colors together. In my video sharing this set, I've swatched every single color, all 120 of them. Don't worry, I sped up the footage so you won't be bored, but it does give you a really good idea of how many different hues of each color are included. I also show how to use them to color in a stamped image and I use two different color combinations with the same set of images so you can see how many options this set includes. Next on the list are Artix Metallic Watercolor Paints. This fun set includes eight large pans of metallic watercolor paint. The pans are magnetic, so you can take them out and snap them back in in whatever order you prefer. Even though the pans are large, the whole set is a nice thin size for on-the-go coloring and snaps closed with a metallic closure. The colors themselves are really stunning, even on white cardstock. They are both nice and opaque, unless you water them down significantly, and either way, they pack a ton of metallic shine. The colors blend together beautifully. In my video highlighting them, I shared how amazing they look on dark cardstock and how to use them to create metallic shiny die cuts on white cardstock too. Artix released a ton of new art supplies this year, so next is their color pencils. But I've also shared a video comparing Prismacolor pencils and Faber-Castell pencils, so I'm going to share all three today. The Artix set includes 72 pencils and is meant to be a budget-friendly option, which compares well to the Prismacolor pencils. Pencils. The Artix are creamy and smooth and come in a ton of pretty vibrant colors. Both the Artix and Prismacolor pencils have a similar consistency that allows them to create smooth effects and blend easily. I found the Prismacolor to be a bit waxier than the Artix. This can make them easier to create completely opaque, creamy effects but I found the Artix easy to use and blend. If you're looking for the most affordable option, the Artix are it. If you want a much larger range of colors and are willing to spend more, the Prismacolor are perfect. In my Artix pencil video, I swatch them all out for you and then show several ways to use them, including coloring tiny stamped images. In the Prismacolor and Faber-Castell video, I compare them both and even use a split screen to color the same image with both pencils. Next up are the Studio Glassboard and Waffle Flower stencil mats. These are the surfaces I do all my work on. The glass mat is bright white and magnetic, so you can hold items in place with magnets while you work. But the main reason I love the glass mat is that it's bright white and it's easy to clean even with alcohol ink. Alcohol ink from either bottles or markers will stain most surfaces other than glass. So if you happen to color off the side or work with alcohol inks, this glass mat is amazing. You can see the colors clearly while you're working and you can easily clean off even alcohol inks with some antibacterial gel. The Waffle Flower stencil mat has a slight lip on two sides which allows you to place your paper and stencil up against the edge to hold it in place. Both the original and mini stencil mat come in protective bags to keep the high grade white silicone dust free when not in use. The silicone grips the paper and stencil to hold it in place even if you're only using one edge of the mat to hold the paper. This way there's no shifting and you can easily create perfect stenciled looks. 
Plus, most water-based inks can be cleaned off with some water and a rag. In my stencil mat video, I shared how the mini mat works perfectly with 6x6 stencils, but if you like to work with larger stencils like the 6x9 ones, you'll probably like working with the original size mat. And now, for my number one favorite art supply that you can grab on Amazon, the 120 set of Ohuhu alcohol markers with a brush tip and a fine point tip. This 120 marker set has a gorgeous rainbow of colors, and this combination of sturdy yet flexible brush tip and sturdy fine tip is the best as far as I'm concerned, especially for beginning colorists like myself trying to color stamped images. The colors blend beautifully together too, and I love having the ability to create both brush strokes and fine lines for small areas or lettering and doodling. In the video, which I'll link to above and down below, I swatch out all 120 colors. Plus, I share how having this particular combination of tips makes coloring much easier on every type of image from flowers to characters to critters. Basically, any image you can think of, I found much easier to color with the combination of brush and fine tip. I'd love to hear if you already have some of these art supplies in your stash, or if you have your eye on any of these in particular, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see some of the other supplies for card making that I purchased from Amazon, check this video out here. As always, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon.